Don Bennick is the man behind North Florida Holsteins. With over 12,000 head of cattle, it is one of the largest dairies in Florida. Don is an innovator who has helped Florida's dairy industry compete with larger milk producing states. There would be numerous times that there'd be half a dozen or more research projects going on uh, at any one time here. The farm partners with the University of Florida and other research scientists on developing cattle feed, vaccines, forages, and environmentally friendly operations. The dairy is also known for excellence in breeding. Yeah, North Florida Holsteins, we're world renowned for our genetics and our international training. Don has spent a lifetime working with genetics and Holstein breeding and it's, it's really special to be a part of an organization that's so respected worldwide. Don is a native Floridian who spent the first few years of his life with his family near Avon Park. His neighbors were citrus farmers who introduced him to agriculture as a young boy. After his father died overseas in World War II, Don and his mother moved to upstate New York. At age 12, he sold some pigs to buy his first cow, housing it in his mother's garage. I just uh, always enjoyed the animals and uh, uh, spent uh, uh, quite a lot of time trying to procure my own early. Don earned his undergraduate degree at Cornell University, all the while tending to his growing herd. He later went on to law school and began dating Mary Ann his wife of 42 years. And then he came home um, pretty much every weekend after that. But I will tell you, it was probably to see the cows and not me. Don worked as an attorney at a law firm for a time, but with roots firmly planted in agriculture, he soon had to make a choice. I practiced for three years and milk cows all at the same time. They were a horrible combination. Uh, Every time a cow was having trouble having a calf, I was doing court, and uh, you couldn't uh, pick two occupations that fit together any worse. So nearly 40 years ago, Don, Mary Ann, and their two children left the chilly New York winters and settled in Bell, Florida, where they live today. He quickly realized the dairy business was quite different in the Sunshine State. Well, when you move to Florida and milk cows, probably your three adversities are, are heat and humidity, uh, mud, and a lack of good quality forage. Don has spent most of his career tackling these challenging Florida conditions. To battle the heat, North Florida Holsteins built the first tunnel-ventilated, free-stalled barn in the country. These giant fans increase cow comfort and production. The barns are also equipped with high pressure misters to provide evaporative cooling. The farm is also proving healthy cattle forages can be grown in extreme conditions. Dr. Ann Blunt of the University of Florida is a plant research scientist who frequently visits Don's farm. She says he's an outstanding partner supporting studies that help farmers all across the country. I think one of the best things when you're a plant breeder is actually see forages that you develop from the time you made uh, the cross in the greenhouse and followed it all the way through generations until it became a commercialized variety and then to come out and actually see it being utilized and being utilized and, and very functional I think that's the success that you really want to see in plant breeding. You, uh, you, of course, are a veterinarian. Uh, do you expect to be part of a veterinary practice there? Yeah, I expect to, to be part of a farm. Along with supporting agricultural research, Don also has a soft spot for students. You're giving us this opportunity. Wow. It's not only not like skills that we learn here, like work with the cows, like real work with the cows. So we are really grateful with this firm and with this opportunity. I've known Don Bennett for decades, both as a person I'm proud to work for and as a friend. I think one of the things I admire most about Don is he's always forward focused. 
at his stage and career, with all of his accomplishments, it would be very easy to stay the course. But status quo is not what makes Don Bennett tick. He is a curious individual and a lifetime learner, and he imparts that knowledge throughout the industry. It's demonstrated vividly by the international internship program that he has built. More than 300 students from all over the world have participated in the farm's year-long internship program that covers all dairy operations. John Karanja traveled from Kenya to be a dairyman and now works as one of the farm's managers. Yeah, he's a great man. Uh, you'll ever enjoy working with him. He'll teach you how to do it. He wants you to be better than he is. He loves his people. He loves the animals. Yeah, and he always say, we take care of good, good cows. The cows are gonna take care of us. In many countries, uh, it not, may not be very humble to say it, but really the best dairymen in those countries went through our program. Don has visited over 25 countries for speaking and consulting engagements as an ambassador of dairy. Thousands of international visitors have toured North Florida Holsteins, and in 2010, Don was named World Dairy Expo Dairyman of the Year. Those who know him best are excited to now see him inducted into Florida's Agricultural Hall of Fame. I think, I think he's most deserving of this honor. Um, this is really special. Don has spent a lifetime uh, working on Holstein cattle and breeding and agriculture, and it's, it's just a huge honor that he was recognized for this. Here's to a man who's very deserved of this honor. Don continues to enjoy the day-to-day -day farm operations, and especially working alongside his dairy team. However, he and Marianne always make time to share a few quiet moments of every day, reflecting on the beauty of Florida and their farm. We have some very pretty cows. And as you look out my back window here, you see the first fence. And in the morning, the cows come up to that fence and they watch us having our coffee. And I think that's the part of the day that I most like. I'm really glad to be here and glad to, uh, for the circumstances. Life has been good.